So how are you going to prepare? People say to me all the time, brother, how do I prepare for my Mahdi? I say to them, the simplest answer is prepare for Malakul Mawt. When you're ready for the angel of death, you're ready for Imam Mahdi because they're no different. In principle, they're both the same. Because when the Imam comes, you and I can't say, oh, let me go think about it now. Because most likely, you and I may join the army against him. It's an interesting fact in history, how many did our people kill when they were the same ones who called upon Allah to send one. Even Karbala, Imam Hussein's argument was precisely that your people of Kufa sent me thousands of letters. How is it that you have gathered against me, sharpening your swords against me now, when you are the ones who invited me to come and bring equity and justice against Yazid? We say we believe in Imam Mahdi Al-Assad, we have intadar. You know what the meaning of intadar in its purest form is? Is when you love someone so much, you want to be like them. Well, you can't wait to see them, and you decorate your house. And you clean your house because the guest who's going to come likes your house to be clean. And you start to perfume your house and you start looking good to welcome this person and you start dressing nicely. In the metaphor world, that is why the intadar is so important. Do we have it? We just give lip service to the Imam. Adrikni, Assa. The Imam says, don't forget, 11 of my predecessors of my, my father and my grandfather had the same problem. The people kept saying, Adrikni, Assa. But why did they only have a handful of friends? When they walk this earth and perform the greatest feats imaginable, Imam Ali alayhi salam, the greatest feat imaginable after the Prophet was Imam Ali alayhi salam. Yet he had a handful of friends. How is that possible? The Imam is, is warning us, Allah is warning us, don't be lethargic and lazy in thinking that when the Imam calls you, you will be ready. We need to be preparing it. How? By first and foremost looking in the mirror and saying, how do I improve myself so that when the angel of death meets me, I will be satisfied to receive him. فَتَمَنَّهُ الْمَوْتِ in كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Have the desire for death if you are truthful. Do we have that? It's a building, you know. Families have contributed money. People have contributed money. People come from distant lands. Here are brothers from Oxford coming here to listen to lectures, right? From Birmingham, from London, from around. This is a joke, you think? You think these pillars are jokes? You think the ceiling is a joke? This is a witness on Judgment Day. This pulpit is a witness on Judgment Day that that finite time I had, I was busy discussing something and maybe it will count towards me. And maybe this becomes the foundation of the preparation of the Imam. Don't underestimate it. We underestimate it. These institutions, when we run them, it should not only be for the pleasure of Allah in spirit, it should be in preparation for the Imam. That when the Imam reappears, as Allah has promised it will happen, that he makes a phone call and says, I like that institution. I want it to become part of my distribution in my justice on earth. Do you know how powerful that is? You and I under underestimate that. Every little business you and I have may become the agency. How do you know that? How do you know your business will not become the agency to do the Imam's work? How do you and I know that? But shame on us if we don't. Even if we're carpenters, we're builders, we're painters, we're doctors. Our businesses, every one of them, will come in full swing when this justice system gets prevalent.